Good evening, I'm Chris Flanagan. It has been more than a week since 13 Cleveland area churches closed by the diocese learned of a Vatican decree to reopen their buildings. Tonight, those churches are still closed and the waiting is getting difficult. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee joins us live. And Deb, three of those churches are trying to move this along to the next step. Yeah, that's right. They sent a letter to Bishop Lennon today asking him for a swift re resolution. They want him to comply with the Vatican decree as soon as humanly possible. Perhaps you remember the excitement that spread through Catholic churches across Cleveland the day the Vatican's ruling reversing the closing of those churches was announced. <laughs> but tonight, there's no word on when the 13 churches might reopen. Bishop Lennon says he's reviewing the Vatican decrees with his advisors, and parishioners say much of their joy is tempered by impatience. Moving forward, um, is going to probably be a, bit, a little bit more painful um, because we've, we're almost there. Our parishes are to be restored, our churches are supposed to be open, but we still have to wait. And the impatience that we have is, is difficult. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Parishioners of St. Patrick, St. James, and St. Casimir churches attended a prayer service tonight after sending a letter to Bishop Lennon today asking him to name a new pastor and reopen their churches for worship as soon as possible. They say they want to work with him to create a more successful Catholic community for the future. Well, we don't want to be a burden on the other parishes. We don't want to take from anybody. We just want to be restored back to what we were, and then it's up to us to take it from there and build our parish back. We have essentially a new beginning, if you will. Our parishes are going to be restored. This is an opportunity to even be better than we were before. And of course, the diocese can still appeal those rulings if it so chooses. Now, tomorrow, St. Patrick Church will hold a 7 p.m. prayer service on the eve of St. Patrick's Day. Parishioners say they're going to place luminaries on the steps of the church to symbolize their continued vigilance to restore their parish and to reopen their church. Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.